Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today I will be experimenting a little bit with vase mode. So if you guys saw my other video, I um, created a model and 3D printed a stump with my wood filament. So today I'm going to be using that stump model, except doing it in vase mode. So what vase mode is, is it does one continuous line. So a lot of times if there's like different parts of it, it jumps over different parts so it pulls the plastic out a little bit goes to the next spot and puts it back in so it starts extruding again out and so it keeps doing that but this one is one continuous line for the whole stump as it goes up it so I'm experimenting with that and it's only one layer thick so it doesn't go over twice there's no infill there's nothing so it's hollow but vase mode is made for vases which are open on top but my stump isn't open on top so I want to see how it does this. this is my very first time with vase mode my what what came with the SD card with this printer was an older version of Cura, which doesn't have that many options. So I recently downloaded the newest version to see if I could actually get it to work, and I printed some models on it, and it works a lot better. And there's so many more options that I can do stuff with. It's really cool. There's all different kinds of info. So and there's this vase mode, which the other version didn't have. So I'm testing out that to see if anything happens. So I'm gonna be printing it with my, with my uh, glow-in-the-dark filament PLA and here we go okay so the 3d print got done and it's right here so it did have problems like I expected on the top if you can look at that it because of such the overhang it didn't do that great of a job and I was wrong it didn't actually do one continuous line there was parts where it jumped across and it tried doing some supports and stuff. But once it got to the top, as you can see, of course, like I just said, it there wasn't anything to hold it up, so it was just printing on top of air, and so it had little stringers. But it is hollow. There's just one layer of plastic the whole way. So I have to be careful taking it off because it can just break really easily. And... Yep, I'm going to take off the supports, take it off, and clean up some of the stuff. Uh, if I can find the um, off button. <laughs> okay, so I got all, I got it off the plate, and I actually chopped off the top, mostly, and then took off all the supports, and there is some strings and stuff on the inside, so I took that out. So, as you can see, on the bottom, there is a hole. So, in the design, the way I did it, it actually created a little... Uh, a little cave in the bottom of it. Um, so with this base mode, it tried to do that. It tried to follow that little, I guess, little open space under it, and it ended up not working out very well, and there were supports, and then on top of the supports, it was kind of stringy and open. So when, when I took the supports out, it just had a hole there. And so because of the top, I because it's a vase, so I just chopped off the top with some scissors, and this is actually really cool. So it's a little stump, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably going to use this more. So as far as Cura goes for the vase mode, I really like the vase mode, and I like the Cura. So there's a bunch more options. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. I especially like the different types of infill. There's a tetra, uh, tetrahedral or tetrahedron infill, which gives it su support from all angles so that it can withstand force rather than with the up and down um, crisscrossing of it or just back and forth it it only supports up and down as I discovered with um, the PLA or not the PLA the flexible filament it when I printed it I printed a little test cube a 10 uh, by 10 by 10 millimeter test cube and I could squish it this way but up and down it was harder to and that's because of the type of infill but if I printed that with the tetrahedron um, infill, it would be supported on most all sides. So that's really cool. I like that about the Cura. And, um, let's see, what else is there? So another thing that it does is it does more support. In, um, the old version of Cura, you didn't have that many options of support. It's just one kind, and that's it. You just tell it to do supports and no supports. But with this, it actually does it closer to the edges, and, you, and it, that's actually more helpful because like it printed a support for, let's see, if you can see it, there's a little knot there that sticks out only a little bit. It printed a support for that, which I think is really cool. 
it, even though it didn't really need it, it just printed just enough for it. Although around the edges, it printed a little bit of support, which is really cool. I printed a, um, a poop, a poop emoji, and it printed little supports around the bottom edge, and that helped it keep it shape. So overall, the newer version of Cura is really, really a lot better. I'm going to be using it a lot more. And the vase mode is really cool because with the vase mode, you can do prints a lot faster. And I guess just test out your printer in different ways. So I'll be keeping this around. And thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting hopefully more than once a week. Um, because of school, it's a little bit hard to do that. But I'll be doing that hopefully. And um, share this video with your friends if they are interested in 3D printing at all. And leave a comment on what type of vase I should print next. Thanks for watching. Bye.